Okay, let's continue. So the last equation in some moment okay, will be used to calculate this bending moment MB. Right, so some moment, well, about what point? You, know, you can choose any point. Okay, but a convenient point, well, maybe point B. Okay, and doing that, then this VB would disappear in this equation. Right, so you only have you know, consider this you know, 1,000 newton and MB, obviously. So let's say uh, I'm going to do counterclockwise positive. Right, since I assume this MB to be counterclockwise direction. So, <coughs> uh, I have MB positive, right, and a moment from this force, 5,000 newton force, and this force tends to create a clockwise direction, which is opposite to my positive direction, so it's negative. Okay. Uh, 5,000 Newton times moment arm, which is the length of AB, which is three meters. So three equals zero. Therefore, MB equals move this over positive fifteen thousand Newton meter. Okay, or fifteen kilo Newton meter. Uh, positive means my originally assumed direction of counterclockwise is correct. Okay, so I can redraw this now. Draw a second picture of, of AB with the correct forces and moment direction. Right. So I have 5,000 newton, and I don't have normal force now. I only have a shear force going down because this. Uh, this negative number right there. So this shear force is 5,000. And I have a bending moment okay, in the counterclockwise direction, 15,000 meters. That's all. So this is your free body diagram. Okay, everything has been calculated. Okay. <coughs> So this is an equilibrium. Now notice that in this analysis, this applied couple moment of 9,000 newton meters does not appear here at all. We don't take into consideration of this okay, for this calculation. Okay, and that is because this 5,000 newton force. Okay, this reaction force at A, the fact that it's 5,000 is because we have already taken into consideration of this couple of moments right here. Okay, in this calculation, in looking at this free body diagram, the whole thing, right, in figuring it out at A, I have used this 9,000. I've taken into consideration. Okay. So the effect of this 9,000 uh, newton meter of couple of moments have resulted uh, in a reaction force of 5,000 newton at A. Okay, so that's why this couple of moments doesn't appear here at all. Okay, otherwise you would have double counted the effect of this couple of moments, right? So it doesn't appear here at all. Okay, so what you do here. Okay, is just draw whatever that you see okay, in this picture, okay, the section AB. Right? There's a reaction force, and then you have these three internal forces and moments. Okay, so now section AB is done. Okay? So I now know exactly what's going on at B. Right? So you have this shear force of 5,000 newtons going down. And I have a bending moment of 15,000 newton meters going counterclockwise at B. Let's move on to C. What's going on at C? Since B and C really are really close to each other, okay, they're they're really right next to each other, okay, um, 
close to this line right here, with the 6,000 Newton forces applied, right? Since they're so close to each other, you might expect that they, they, they might be quite close to what you calculated here, right, at B. Well, let's look at it. Go through the same calculation, exactly the same thing, okay? Except now, you draw a free body diagram for a C section, okay? Now, since A, B, and A, C, they're almost the same length. Now, like B and C, they're really, really, really close to each other. So the length of A, C, I'm going to take it as 3 meters as well. Okay? Just like A, B. Right? So it's 3 meters. Except now, for the free body diagram, I have, well, same as, uh, this AB, I have 5,000 newtons going up. For this AC section now, I have to take into consideration the 6,000 newtons because C is just to the right of it. So 6,000 newtons actually appears here in this free body diagram, where it doesn't appear here in this AB diagram, right? Because it's outside of this free body diagram, this section right here. The so 6,000 newtons now is included in this section AC. And what else? Well, you have these three unknown internal forces. So I'm going to assume the same direction as uh, the other you know, section, right? So, um, so this is my normal force at Sorry, at C, I have shear force at C, and then I have bending moment at C. Same deal. Three unknown, three equations. Shouldn't be a problem. So let's go through the calculation. Some forces x equals zero first. For this whole free body diagram, immediately you should see this normal force is zero. Okay? So again there's no normal or axial forces internally. Next apply sum of forces vertically. I have positive of five thousand newton, this, and I have negative of six thousand newton coming down, so negative. And I have shear force. That's it. So three vertical forces in the y direction, okay? So, crunch numbers. Bring that all over, so 6,000 minus 5,000. So it turns out it's 1,000. Positive. Positive means my assumed direction is correct, okay? It actually points up now. Okay, last equation. Some a moment about what point? Well, a convenient point to some moment about is point C. So I have, well, let's see, I'm going to again assume that counterclockwise positive. So I have this bending moment, MC, and a moment due to this force, and that's clockwise, so it's negative. 5,000 times moment arm of 3 meters. And that's it. So these other forces don't have moment about C because they pass through C. So zero. Therefore, this many moment C equals 15,000 newton. Positive. Positive means this direction of counterclockwise is correct also. Okay. That's it. So now I have calculated the internal forces at the C point. Okay? Let's compare the two, B and C. Now, B and C are really close to each other, but the shear force at B is 5,000 newtons going down. Okay? Whereas for A, C, okay, I'm going to draw a little bit, make some room. Let's draw A, C. I can draw, well, really, 
essentially the same length. I have 5,000 here, and I have uh, 6,000 applied force, and I have this shear force of 1,000 going up this way. And I have a bending moment of 15,000. Okay, so compare the two. Okay. So internal forces, right? I have 5,000 going downward at B, but at C, I only have 1,000 newton, like it's going up. Okay, big difference, right? 1,000 down, 1,000 up. But as far as the bending moment goes, both have the same. Okay, so 15,000 newton meters counterclockwise. This is also 15,000 meters counterclockwise. That's all. Okay, so this calculation really is quite straightforward. You apply the exact equation that you've known for so long now. Okay, the math is really very, very straightforward because they're all algebraic equations. Right? And the key here is setting up your problem, choosing the right free body diagram, the right section, okay, and drawing the right forces and moment, okay, and then apply the equation to your free body diagram, and you'll be okay.